Hi, this is Mike Toledo. I'm Tanya Toledo. We are the Toledo Group, and what we are going to talk about today are things to avoid when buying a home. Um, there's a few things that I think are just no-goes for everybody. Um, we always try to put our clients um, in properties that are conforming in, in their location. We don't really want to have something that's backing up to an apartment building per se, or a condo building, a school, a restaurant, a busy street, a power plant. Take your pick. Any of these things that you back up to are considered you know, perceived negatives. Depends what the next person thinks. Somebody might think it's bad, somebody might not think it's bad, but the more negatives you have, the more discount on your price somebody's gonna wanna get you. The good thing is, is that if you are willing to take on a house that has some of these negatives, you can also get a better price in a neighborhood. And, and, and since you got in at a good price, you'll always be able to get out at a better price. Um, but really, you wanna try to avoid those negatives. There's a lot of things to think about. Minimum distance from a freeway is 1,800 feet. The air quality, concrete dust, and God knows what else out there um, is really heavy within 1,800 feet of a freeway. They say you wanna be within 1,800 feet of a street that has over 30,000 cars traveling on it per hour because that is basically a freeway for, for the most part. So um, we don't really know a lot about these things until you learn about them. So really, we try to make every effort we can, if the budget allows it, to avoid these things um, at all costs, really. Airports, uh, runways, uh, flight paths, um, these types of things are the perceived negatives. Restaurants, to me, restaurants are the biggest one because with restaurants, let's say if you're back into an alley that has restaurants, critters. restaurant have trash and trash brings rodents and, and then you have the higher potential for a rodent issue um, with the trash back there. You just really want to try to avoid commercial establishments altogether. Um, but again, if your budget is, is what it is and that's what works for you, then that's what works for you. Sometimes you just got to get in when you fit in.